Well, it seems every year, every new release of Mash Cam, we keep getting more and more tools thrown into the graphics screen. Now, whether or not you love them or hate them, uh, what we're going to do in this video today is show you how you can turn some of these things off. Get rid of them all. So I did ask the question, you know, why do we keep getting more and more of these things popping up? And, and the reply that I got... Which, yes, I guess it's true that they're not in the way. Um, typically, when you look at a monitor or a screen of some sorts, you're only looking at the center portion of it, and your eyes aren't really focused on uh, the peripheral, the, the corners, uh, so much. So, yes, we've got room for these tools to sit in the corners. Regardless, let's have a look and see how we can remove them from the interface. Let's start with these uh, no ones up in the upper corners. Now these are not on by default anymore. I believe they used to be in old versions of Mashcam. So probably if you have these things turned on, you've uh, intended to do so. Uh, but I guess there's a chance that you've somehow turned them on and you don't know how to get them off your screen now. So these are going to be controlled over on the planes manager. And up in here, underneath our show nomens from the pull down, what we're looking for here is display C and T plane in corners. So just uncheck that, and we've gotten rid of those two items. The majority of the remaining items can all be controlled from within one interface, and we can get to that interface in two different ways. So if I come down here and right click on this cube looking thing, and if I come down and click on screen settings, this brings us into the controls we're after here to hide the majority of our on-screen tools. We can also get to this, if I close out of this, in from our configuration. And it's down here under screen. So same interface, just two different ways to get to it. And what I can do here is, let's look at this one down in the right-hand corner, the scale or units. And we just need to uncheck that one, and it disappears. And down in the middle here, this is displaying the active level name. And same thing, I can uncheck that to get rid of that. The new item for 2026 is the display plane overlay, which is these items right here. And again, we'll just uncheck. And you'll notice in the remaining settings here, uh, there's no checkbox here to turn the actual cube off. So we're going to exit out of this. I'm going to click OK. I'm just going to hit on no because I don't want to save this as my default. And to get rid of the cube, what we need to do is again, right click. And this time we need to uncheck the show cube from this menu. And that will get rid of the cube. So we still have our selection bar and our quick mass on screen, and we can interact with those again in that same screen settings menu. But before we do that, I'm going to come up into the toolbar and right click, and I'm coming down to customize the ribbon. And then here I'm going down to the very bottom to the options. And then down at the bottom here is the quick mass, which you can turn them completely off. So let's say I never work with um, points, so I can uncheck points. And my points is there right now, but if I click on OK, you notice the points is now gone. So there you can turn off uh, individual quick mass, or you can turn them all off if you prefer. So let's go back to that screen settings menu again, and right click and screen settings. And I wanted to point out those quick mass, turning them off completely, because there's a way to sort of turn them off or, or, or hide them. And that's what this slider right here, overlay control opacity. So if I turn this all the way down, you can see what happens here. Let's screen check and hit no. The quick mass have essentially disappeared, as has my selection bar. Uh, but obviously, we can't run Mastercam without a selection bar, so it still has to be there. I just need to move my cursor closer to it, and it will appear. And the same thing is now true for those quick mass, which once I get my cursor close to it, they will appear. But just wanted to point out that the quick mass, we can disable them from that options menu.